This tutorial is about the corrosion of iron and steel and aluminium. The corrosion of iron and steel is called rusting and you can see the effects of the rusting in these four pictures. But what causes iron and steel to rust? We do know that if we leave items made out of iron or steel outside they will rust. But what is it that causes rust? This picture shows the classic experiment to show the causes of rusting. On the left here we have what we call the control experiment. This contains the factors we'd expect to cause rusting. In other words, that the iron or steel nail here is in contact with water and with air. The second tube here shows the nail in contact with air only. Any water or water vapour in the tube has been removed by using a drying agent, in this case calcium chloride. The steel nail in the third tube is in contact with water only. There's no air in the water because the water has been boiled and this drives off any dissolved gases. To make sure no gases get back into the water afterwards, the water has been covered with a layer of oil. The fourth and fifth pictures here illustrate some of the things which make rusting worse. In the fourth picture we have the steel nail in contact with salty water and air and in the fifth one with acid rain or with acid and air. As you can see in the second and the third tubes there's no rusting. Steel won't rust if only in contact with air or only in contact with water. For the steel to rust it needs to be in contact with air and water and rusting is made worse if in contact with salt or with acid rain. So rusting requires iron, water and oxygen from the air and salt water and acid rain make rusting worse. Rusting is what's known as an oxidation reaction. The iron oxidizes or gains oxygen to become iron oxide. But because water is also necessary, it makes what's called hydrated iron 3 oxide. We need to know the chemical equation here. Iron plus oxygen plus water making hydrated iron 3 oxide. In an examination question, you may be given data in a table about various metals and how much they corrode and how they corrode over time. Specifically you need to know about aluminium and iron or steel and how they compare with their corrosion rates. Aluminium items can be left out in all weathers and will not appear to corrode very much. This is because the aluminium being a reactive metal combines with oxygen in the air to form a layer of aluminium oxide. The layer of aluminium oxide sticks very closely to the surface and it's very inert, which means it's unreactive. It stops any further corrosion of the aluminium and protects it. So aluminium doesn't corrode because it has a protective surface of aluminium oxide, which is unreactive. As opposed to the aluminium oxide, which protects the aluminium from further corrosion, Iron oxide has got a very different structure. Hydrated iron 3 oxide, or rust, has got a very spongy texture. It absorbs water, and once it's been made, it flakes off away from the surface of the iron, revealing fresh iron to be corroded underneath. So iron continues to corrode away until eventually it weakens because of holes appearing in the iron and the iron or steel item needs to be replaced.